what are collections in c sharp and what are their types first first let me share you some points about collection c sharp collections are used to store manage and manipulate data for example when you get data from the database like you get the list of employees okay then how you will manage that that data meaning where you will store them in your application how you will do the sorting filtering on this data for that we need collections the array list dictionary are the examples of the collections now let me show you the type of the collections here are the categories of the collections we have three categories of the collection in dotnet normal collections concurrent collections and generic collections remember these are the categories but if someone will ask you the type of the collection then you have to say array list hash table dictionary list whatever you know from this list you should share that now the first category is normal collection these are the basic ones array list hash table queue and stack then we have concurrent collections these are the thread safe collections in c sharp meaning if you are using multi threading in your application then these collections can be help helpful to you i will not go into the details of this collection otherwise it will be a very long video but then if you know normal collection then here we have this third category which is generic collections they are nothing else like this list is the generic version of the array list dictionary is the generic version of hash table so basically if you know generic and collections then this generic collection is very easy for you what is the difference between array and array list let's see the differences with the help of code here is the code of uh, array an integer array is declared then the items numbers are set to 10 then the first integer value has been assigned to array now here if you will assign any value other than integer like this then dotnet framework will not accept that and show the compiler error okay similarly here is the code of array list an array list has been declared and then its instance has been created and then items are added inside it now here we can store items of different types like integers strings any type okay the reason is array list converts this integer and string values to objects therefore array list store objects only and that is boxing and we discussed boxing in previous video so the first difference is array is strongly typed this means that an array can store only one type of items elements like here we are storing the integer either integer either string only one type no mixing whereas array list can store any type of elements see here in the array list here there is no type is mentioned and we can add integer and string both values like this second difference is array can contain fixed number of items see here we have to give the numbers of items in the array in advance here we have assigned 10 if we will not give this number then it will give an error on the other hand array list can store any numbers of items see there is no count here you can add any numbers of items in the array list so these are the differences between the two what is the difference between array list and hash table see the code of array list in array list we can only add items or values to the list see both of these are values only now let's see hash table in hash table we can add items values with the keys see this is the key and this is its value hash table is like a mapping so when you want to retrieve the values from a hash table collection then you can directly use the keys to extract its value this is the benefit of the hash table so the differences are in array list we can only add items or values to the list whereas in hash table we can add items values with the keys what is the difference between list and dictionary collections this is a good and important question let's see the code first see here we have a list of employees which have a string type and then we are adding employees name which are a string only right after that we are iterating the list via this for loop for each loop okay finally this is the output now we are getting two things out of list first list is a collection of items okay and second it is the generic version of the array list in array list we also do the same except we do not provide that type here 
So now you know what is the difference between array list and list. Now let's explore dictionary. Here is the code and here we are declaring the dictionary employees t. Then we are providing two types. One is integer and another is a string. So basically this int is the type of the key and this string is the type of the value. And we are using dictionary add method to add the key and value pair in the dictionary collection. Then we are iterating this key value pair using the for each loop. And in the output key, the value will be printed in pairs. Okay. So again, we have seen two things about dictionary. First is dictionary is a collection of key value pair. Okay. Second, it is the generic version of the hash table. In hash table also, we have the same key value pair okay now i think you can tell the differences between array list list hash table and dictionary collections very easily